This straight. You're We're back gonna, on the show, by the way. You're gonna give up beef because of why? I'm just eating too much of it. What is too much of it? Where it, it doesn't taste, and it's like, oh, I gotta try other food. Okay. <laughs> why, can you eat beef all the time? Can I eat beef all the time? I can eat seafood all the time. I can eat beef all the time. I can eat seafood all the time. Yeah, that's right. I can eat any sort like of it. proteins. It's uh, Cheese I, all the time, yeah. Yes, you're I, right. I revel in my um, swininess. I was going to say, if you're quitting beef for ecological reasons, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> you know what, though? I do get guilty thinking about pigs in slaughterhouses. Mm -hmm. I don't eat, the, the fish don't eat pork. I know you don't eat pork. I still love pork, okay? Uh, I love pulled pork sandwiches. I love bacon. I love Kahlua? Huh? Kahlua? You know that Hawaiian style yeah, they put in the motherfucking hole? Yeah. Falled off the kind yes, of thing. I love that Hawaiian kind of shit. sea salt shit. Yes. I love pork all sorts and just of salt. Pork. Is fine with you? Yes. Because I think that's how they do it, right? Just the old Hawaiian thing, maybe a bay leaf. But the thing about it is that then you start thinking about how smart pigs are, and you know. Do you think about a smart animal in a miserable situation and then you just get all guilty about it? Do you like spam, my friend? Yes. The corn likes spam. I like spam skin the best. You know what spam skin is? The real crispy shit. The real crispy little yeah, layer people do that. Fried up. Oh, my God. If I could, you know, mandolin that down to just minute thin strips and fry it up. Fry it about 325. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. Because I think 350 spam might, chips. might make it too overdone and burnt. Yeah. I think if you did the spam like that, hit it in the, like 325. Spam mm. chips would be really good. I don't think they'd uh, last very long. I mean, you are just frying up gelatin. It's mm -hmm. not going to stay in its form very long. But it's still actually, you could still it probably... Won't travel. <laughs> Yeah, I've eaten some old spam back when I used to eat ham. Yeah, it's pretty. My interesting. kids, my kids, didn't like it. Didn't like the idea of spam until they actually had spam. For me, I think it's way too salty. For to be honest, so I just when I have spam, I'll just have the skin part and just as a accent to stuff because the spam itself is just. I mean, it's it's a little bit thicker in consistency, but it's still nothing more than a glorified Vienna sausage. Do you like Vienna sausages? No. I used to when I was a little kid. My, my oldest, he loves Vienna sausages. He can power through two or three cans of that stuff. How much is a can these days? Like, I have no idea. Like a buck, right? I buy them in you know, the little flats that you get at Smart and Plant or whatever. You know? That kid loves that shit. Which is, you know, looking at him, you, you wouldn't know he had that kind of appetite, you know? Tall, skinny kid. How do you think he's gonna be like six five kind of thing? I don't know, dude. He's a tall kid. He's taller than most. He's kids. taller than most of his uh, classmates. Hmm, that's pretty cool. But he's also skinny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Family. You sneeze at him and he might fall over. <laughs> what if you sneeze at that yeah, at homegirl's mother-in-law? <laughs> you know, we've never talked about this woman. <laughs> On the fish and corn show. I just thought of the corn. <laughs> Did, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Who are you talking about? The mother in law to your wife. That would be my mom. Not her mother, your mother in law. I mean. Oh. <laughs> I guess we, we shouldn't talk about that <laughs> here on the show. I got the I, signal for that one. I, I don't need that coming back at me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Yeah. You know, that's the funny thing is that it probably, you know, and then the wicked wild things, they, oh, they could stumble upon this video. That's my point. Oh, God. You know, now. it's like, it's like when, <laughs> when you're looking, you know, on... Craigslist for, you know, a power saw, and you come across a listing of something you sold three weeks ago or something, huh? Yeah? I 
kind of shit. Or yeah, like that one guy who applied to our job. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh uh, I don't need that coming back to me. <laughs> it'd be kind of just oh, sort of. It's not even like hilarious, sure. but be... it wouldn't go away, dude. You don't get it. My wife holds a grudge. Oh, I shit. said a snarky thing about her 15 years ago, and you know about uh, gourmet ketchup selection, and she hasn't let it go. What do you think about that? Well, no, I was being snarky. Uh, yeah. About ketchup? Well, no, I was being snarky about her culinary tastes. You know, she wasn't very adventurous, um, food-wise, back then. And I was being a jackass, and I said, would you prefer a uh, <laughs> oh, gourmet snarky. selection of ketchup? <laughs> ah. And that, yeah. That, that was unnecessary. But this could be in other sense, too. Uh-huh. It's just... It comes back to haunt you, dude. Yeah. But <laughs> interesting people. Mm. Interesting people that we we will keep them hidden, I guess. But they are yeah, very that, interesting people. They, you don't get off the porch, man. I mean, back on the uh, sidewalk there. But anyways, where are we at? Oh, we're at six and, uh, six and a half minutes. We have... Uh, Four more minutes with you guys. Six and a half minutes? Really? Woo! Oh, yeah, that's because we had that phone call in the middle of it. That is so crazy. We're here at the Fish and Corn <laughs> Show. <laughs> you know, it's, this is like sounding like one of those uh, QVC. Because, you know, a lot of the shit, there's some people watching, the ones watching, but it's. I the, love QVC, to be honest. The knife collection? How here's, is the knife collection? Is there any thing. good shit on there? They only sell junk on that crap. It seems like. Okay. But. I love watching QVC just because I love watching salespeople work. Okay? I like going to the fair just to watch these people do their sales pitch. You know, with their kitchen appliances or their knife sets or whatever it is that they're hawking. You know, the good ones can engage the public without needing to sell them 24 7. And I just like watching that shit. So, I like watching QVC for the same reasons. I don't buy any of that crap. I've never bought anything from a TV, you know, shopping channel in my life. But, I do enjoy watching it. Sort of like the same reason I enjoy watching uh, televangelists and um, TV preacher types, you know. It's like, I, ha I have ordered, the, I don't know if do you remember, the Sunday paper. And there's this, uh, it's called Parade. I don't know if they mm -hmm. have it. Parade is like this yeah, like, color, parade. color motherfucking insert. Color insert in the local newspaper, yeah. And then you had this one for a survival knife for $5 or something like and that. And you bought that thing? I bought that thing. Like, I bought two of them. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. I thought they were, and thus I learned how to sharpen that thing because it came dull as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, a, there's an upside to buying junk. You learn to improvise a fix around it. I mean, it was the, f and I, when he got, got there, you could tell, ah, this is not that great, but I'll use it, because you're a kid. And you when I was a kid, I was a knife snob. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I was a silly knife snob, because I got this little uh, Swiss Army, electronics to... uh, Swiss Army knife. I right? still got mine. I still, I still got one. mine, yeah. And I, I was very much into electronics for a long time, and then I discovered butt knives, and then I was a butt knife guy for very long time. I remember that. And, you know, a shrade, the little pocket shrades, uh, those, you know, two blade things. I love those things. I don't, I, I'm not necessarily into the, the whole mall ninja stuff. I got into the mall ninja stuff later on, you know, but only because it's kind of ridiculous. But it's, it's shitty. It's like Chinatown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crappy shit. by a, a, a TJ Curio Hawkers or, you know, Chinatown, you know, um, stores uh, for tourists and shit. Nothing that you're, you're actually going to use, but still fun to play with. Do you think you ever have... Uh, no, you do have some straight blade ones. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of fixed blades that, that I like. Swords? But I, I just use them for... Like, the sword I use is a machete. You know, it's kind of cooler looking than your average $8 Harbor Freight machete. <laughs> but I use it for the same thing. You know, Chop up vegetation and shit. Are there any people making... Um, and it doesn't have to be Japanese. I'm sure quality katanas. Can you? How there much are there? There are plenty of people doing that kind of crap. Really? It's, it's, how much are you talking? Absurd. I mean, you, you can get into one that's machined nicely for under a thousand bucks, and then it goes into the thousands. But it's there absurd. are people doing it, right? Yeah, it's it's silly. 
You shouldn't pay more than 80 bucks for any of that shit. <laughs> okay, it's just a piece of metal. Yeah, I know, but they, mm -hmm. they do have small batch kind of motherfuckers. Yeah, but it's a, it's a consumable tool. It's, it's, you know, how many shears are you going to buy in your life? I assure you, you will buy more than one. And are you gonna be any buying? Oh, corn! Did you get that uh, that message that of the new Kirkland whiskey for one point seven five milliliters for twenty five dollars? I have you seen my old fashioned. Where'd you see that one? Where'd you see that one? That's in Michigan. Uh, no, uh, what's that in? Um, La Mesa. La Mesa. Okay. The Fletcher Parkway, whatever one. Yeah, I never go to that one. But they I have, haven't seen that one on the East Eighth Street one. I, I didn't. Seen Seen it at the one by mm -hmm. the IKEA. Just so. recently, but you know what? The uh, they also have a 19.99 uh -huh. small batch. They do have a 20 bucker now. That's of the regular size. See, I like that. Keep your liquor costs under 20 bucks, and you'll you'll make you a If you get it, at Kirk, yeah, Kirkland. <laughs> We're Kirkland drinkers now. That's pretty sad. <laughs> All right, 11 minutes. We'll be right back. Oh. And we'll, we're going to come in on a, we have a different intro for you guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I identify with the young dog. <laughs> you identify as a goat. As a goat.